And now for your bonus story recording. George and Martha Back in Town. Written and illustrated by James Marshall. Five stories about two dear friends. Story number one. The Box. Martha noticed a little box on George's kitchen table. Do not open, said the sign. I won't, said Martha. I'm not the nosy type. But Martha couldn't take her eyes off the little box. She read the sign again. Do not open, said the sign. Martha couldn't stand it. One little peek won't hurt, she said. And she untied the string. Out jumped George's entire collection of Mexican jumping beans. Oh, my stars, said Martha. It took Martha all afternoon to round up the Mexican jumping beans. One yellow one gave her quite a chase. When George came home, Martha was reading a magazine. You seem out of breath, said George. You don't think I opened that little box, do you? said Martha. Of course not. Said George. I'm not the nosy type, said Martha. George didn't say a word. Story number two The High Board. Today, said George, I will jump from the high board. Don't do it, cried Martha. Everyone will be watching, said George. You'd never catch me up there, said Martha. That's because you're a scaredy cat, said George. But when George got up on the high board, he lost his nerve. I can't do it, he said. And everyone is watching. His knees began to shake. I'll be right up, said Martha. Martha climbed up the ladder. Now what? said George. I'll go first, said Martha. And she jumped off. Martha caused quite a splash. Everyone was impressed. And no one noticed how George got down. I just didn't feel like it today, said George. Martha didn't say a word. Story number three The Trick. George was fond of playing tricks on Martha. But that was not Martha's idea of fun. And when she found her house slippers nailed to the floor, she was not amused.
Martha gave George the old silent treatment. Oh no, said George. Not that. George decided to bake Martha's favorite cake. This will butter her up, he said. When the cake was done, George put it in a box, and he went to look for a pretty ribbon. I have a surprise for you," said George. "It's another trick," said Martha. "Not this time," said George. "Then you open it," said Martha. "Very well," said George. "I will." Martha bit her nails while George pulled off the ribbon. Out jumped one rubber tarantula, one stuffed snake, four plastic spiders, and two real frogs. E gads! cried George. I've been tricked. And by the way, said Martha, the cake was simply delicious. <laughs> Story number four. The job. George was excited about his new job. It's hard work, said Martha. You must be very strict. I'll try, said George. No horsing around is allowed," said Martha. "Thanks for the advice," said George. "That's what friends are for," said Martha. Very soon, George saw that someone was disobeying the rules. "No horsing around," he called through his megaphone. It's all right," shouted Martha. "It's only me." "You heard me," called out George. George meant business, and he gave Martha quite a bawling out. "Well," said Martha, "and I thought we were friends." "Oh dear," said George. Martha was right. This is a hard job. The last story. The book. George was all nice and cozy. May I join you? said Martha. I'm reading, said George. I'll be as quiet as a mouse, said Martha. Thank you, said George. And he went back to his book. But soon Martha was fidgeting. Please, said George. Have some consideration. Sorry," said Martha. George went back to his reading, but in no time, Martha was fidgeting again. That does it," said George, and he left. At home. He got all nice and cozy again. He opened his book. It is important to be considerate to our friends," said the book. "It certainly is," said George. "Sometimes we are thoughtless without even knowing it," said the book. "I'll say," said George. "Martha should read this book."
He went to find her. I'm sorry I was fidgeting, said Martha. I got lonely. Oh, said George. I never considered that. What did you want to tell me? said Martha. Oh, nothing, said George. I just got lonely too. And they sat and told stories into the night. Martha didn't fidget even once. This performance was recorded at Soundscape, Boston, Massachusetts, and was produced by Charles Berry Productions. Copyright 2000 by Houghton Mifflin Company. All rights reserved.